welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my first impression of the Mockingbird single to double stroller. So Scott and I did a lot of research to figure out what stroller we wanted to do. We looked at some of the singles and some of the double options and this is the one that we decided on. So this stroller was just released in April. Mockingbird, the company, I believe, started in 2018, but they only had a single stroller. And then in April of this year, 2020, they released one that functions as both a single and you can add a double seat, which is what we did. And so it was released in April and it was actually ordered for us by Scott's family. And so they ordered it right when it was released and it took about six weeks to get here, which is what the website prepared us for. It said about five to six weeks delivery. And so we got it in May. So this stroller starts out at $395 and that includes just the one seat. If you want to buy the additional seat, you can purchase it at any time, like later on for $120. But you get the frame, which can function as a single and double. But the 395 just includes the one seat. There are a few accessories that come with it that I'll show you and there are some accessories that you can purchase additionally. So like I mentioned, Scott and I researched a lot of the single and double strollers before we settled on the Mockingbird and one that we really, really liked was the Upper Baby Vista, which has a very, very similar look and feel to the Mockingbird, but the Upper Baby Vistas start at 930. And so this one that starts at 395 is less than half the price of the other baby which was a really big deciding factor when we went with this one but i'm going to go ahead and do an overview of the whole stroller and then i was going to tell you some of my personal pros and cons with the mockingbird single to double so there are a lot of different color combinations that you can get we went with the black so underneath the canopy here, you can do either watercolor, which is what we did, or they have like a black lines, like plaid looking thing, but we went with watercolor and then brown. It's called penny leather, which is like a vegan leather. It's the brown leather and the silver for the hardware. So that's what we went, but they also have like a blue and a gray. And I think a blush pink, they have a lot of different color options. They're all the same price as well. So I'm gonna start just from the top down and kind of give you a quick overview. On the handle, it has a two-step system to close it, which I'll show you in a little bit, but it has a little button back here for your front fingers, and then your thumb has to slide. So in order to close and fold down the stroller, you have to do both parts of it. So it's not like you accidentally hit this button and the whole thing collapses. So this is actually adjustable, the handlebar. So you can go up taller in the middle or down low. With the sun canopy, it has a magnetic little peephole, so you can look in there if baby's asleep or anything. It also has a zipper right here for extra ventilation. So you can flip it up and then you can kind of see the watercolor drops as well. But when this is fully open, it allows for more air to come through and for you to keep an eye on baby all the time. Or you can close it back and zip it back up. So right now you can see I have it with the seat facing out. You can also flip it with these two, there's two buttons on either side and you just pick it up and flip it back down and it locks in. So if you want the child facing you, so there's a little latch system right here that you can pull and kind of determine where you want the child if they're sleeping, if you want them all the way down. Um, you can adjust how they're at. So one of the accessories that it comes with is this child like bumper bar. It is removable. You just hit these two buttons right here and it comes in that same penny leather color or whatever color that you choose. And it just snaps back in. So it also has, you can see the harness system that is adjustable so it can grow with the child. And this little footrest is adjustable, the position of it as well. If you want it down, really low. And it also unzips here. If you had a bunch of crumbs or anything, that'd be a good time to sweep it out. But also this whole thing is machine washable. And so the, you have to unzip it to remove it to throw it in the washing machine. So here's the latch system that I was talking about to adjust the position, but you can also see, here's the Mockingbird 
symbol, but there's also a little pouch right here that would be perfect for like a cell phone, earpieces, whatever you want. So you don't have to put it all the way down in the storage basket. Speaking of the storage basket, the website says it holds up to 25 pounds. It is very large and deep. Down here in the storage basket, there is a little like hidden compartment with Velcro. So if you want something to not be very visible, it blends in really well. But I do think it's a really good size. I have the Fawn Design diaper bag, which is pretty large and it fits in here, no problem. And there's a lot of extra room. As far as the wheels go, they're not air. I don't know exactly what they are, but the website says that they're not air, which means that they just won't pop or deflate. And they are removable. The front wheels have this little thing which locks them so they can lock straight forward and the brake on the back is just that one pedal in the middle. So as I mentioned, this is the single to double, but we right now only have the one seat that comes with it. In the future, if we have another child, um, you just get the additional seat, which was 120, and that comes with adapters that would raise this seat up a little bit, and the, they would attach to the bottom of the frame, and the second seat would go here. But since we didn't need that, we haven't ordered it yet. But in the future, it's nice that this is very customizable. If you want one seat, two seat, and whichever way you want them seated and the colors and all that. Now, to collapse this and fold it down, I've mentioned that you touch these two things. In order to keep the whole system as one, you have to face the seat out to collapse it. You can just take this off and collapse the frame, but I think it's easier if you just face it out. And then the website recommends you go ahead and put the lock on. And then I'm going to move the thumb piece and grab it down and you'll see it just folds like that and it does stand on its own and if you want it to be a little smaller you can like adjust this all the way back to make it fit in your car or your closet or anything better and to open it back up there's just a latch right here that you pull and then grab the frame It's ready to go. And then if you want to adjust this back, you can. So with the purchase of the stroller, it came with a large travel bag that the whole stroller comes in. And it also came with a little wet bag, which is nice if you want to keep it down here for dirty diapers or anything or put it in your diaper bag. And it also comes with an additional like UV bug protection. It's magnetic up here. It has little circle magnets that attach to the front of the shade that I'll show you. But it also, it took me a while to find these. It has these little elastic pieces that attach to little nooks over here. So when you feel along here, you can kind of find out where the magnets are. So when you find the magnets, they just attach along here. They're not like super strong magnets, so you definitely need to take the little elastics and then down here by the zipper, there's just a little notch that you can add it to. And then after you have it attached with the elastics, this just goes around here. So this is for extra like privacy or sun protection or bug protection. So you can see it covers the whole thing. And so this came with the purchase of the stroller. The only item that we purchased extra was this organizer. And this is from Mockingbird, so you can get it on the website. And you can see it's a pretty good size. It has a zipper right here. So you can put whatever. And then it has three sections. And we have the large Yeti cups. And so I tried both of them in here and they fit really well. And then a middle compartment. The thing that I don't love about this it wasn't bad enough that I'm like gonna return it, but I don't know how much I'll actually use it because it Velcros here, but I'll show you. It just kind of flaps around when it's on. That's what it looks like when it's on, but you can see like when you're walking, it's just gonna kind of flap around. And I, don't, I haven't figured out a way to prevent that. So if I had a large drink or something in there, I feel like that would be quite annoying having it flap around. But it is nice that you can have stuff here and not have to put it all the way down there. So the organizer is the only thing that we purchased, but I've seen on the website they have like a rain guard and like a snow guard if you live in a really cold climate. That's basically a rundown of the whole stroller. And I was just gonna tell y'all quickly some of my personal favorites and things that I wish were a little bit different with the stroller. So some of the deciding factors that 
led me to choose the Mockingbird over other strollers that I looked at. One of them was the really large storage basket. I knew the diaper bag that I already had was pretty large, and so I didn't want one that was hard to access or anything like that. So the large storage basket. I also really like the adjustable handlebar. So I'm like between 5'7 and 5'8, and the middle option is perfect for me, but my husband is 6'4, and so he said this one's really, really comfortable. He could do the middle option just fine, but for extra comfort, the fact that it goes up is really, really nice if you or your partner is tall. I also really like the smooth feel of it and how customizable it is with the colors and options. I think that the whole thing just looks pretty luxurious and the feel of it is luxurious. It's definitely comparable, in my opinion, to the Uppa Baby that I tried out at Bye Bye Baby. And for half the price, I feel like it's really, really good quality, even for a more affordable option. I really like this people, the magnetic. I think this is new with the single to double. I saw people that just had the single that have this as Velcro, and they complained that sometimes it would wake the baby up because it was so loud. And so I think that's a new feature that they did with the magnet that I really like. Also, when I was showing how it folds down, I really like that it can stand on its own in case you want to put it in a corner or anything like that. And the main deciding factor besides the affordable price was just the fact that it can function as a single or a double. Because I know that there are some double strollers that you purchase with both seats and there's not like a removable option. And so we plan on having kids relatively close in age. And so for us, it just made more sense to go ahead and get one that can function as both a single for right now and a double for in the future. So those are some of the things that made this an easy decision for me to pick the Mockingbird over some of the others. But there are some things that I wish were a little bit different or added on. One of the things that people complain about the most is the lack of cup holders, which is probably just to keep the design looking sleek. But if you're going out for a long walk, you're probably gonna wanna drink. Your baby's probably gonna want something to drink. So that's one of the reasons why I got the organizer, which you can order, like I said, from the website. Amazon also has like universal ones that I haven't tried, but I found, I think Skip Hop and uh, another brand on Amazon have a universal cup holder that I plan on purchasing and it just kind of like screws on or attaches here. I plan on ordering one of the universal cup holders to try out, but it would be nice if Mockingbird had their own that you could just buy from theirs or if it went ahead and came with it because I think everybody really wants a cup holder. And another con is I feel like this sunshade doesn't come down as far as I like. I wish it came down a few more inches to really cover. I feel like if the sun, unless it's like directly overhead, then this there's still gonna be a lot of sun on the child. But with that, it does come with the bug and sun shield that I showed you. And so you do have the option for full coverage if you want. I just wish it was a little bit longer, maybe had like a lip. So I mentioned that it comes with this child bar when you buy it, but something I wish that it came with or they had the option of buying like additionally is a snack bar. I know a lot of the other strollers come with that with like a cup holder and a little snack area. That would be really nice and I'm hoping that Mockingbird will come out with their own. But if not, like I said, I got the organizer so I could put snacks and stuff in there and I don't think the first few months that it's gonna be a big deal that there's not a snack tray, but I do wish that that was an option to add that on. So I showed how this can go down and lay flat. Some of the other strollers that I considered getting had the option where this seat could convert to a bassinet, but this doesn't, and I kind of wish it did. It's not a huge deal for me because I feel like I'm gonna be wearing the baby when he's super, super young, but this does go down pretty far and lay pretty flat, or that the Mockingbird website does have a bassinet that you can just add, or that you can purchase separately if you want. It wasn't too big of a deal for me to purchase the bassinet, but it would be nice if this converted to one. That'd be a really awesome feature as well. Another option if you don't want to purchase the bassinet for little babies is they have a lot of different adapters on the Mockingbird website for like Graco or Chico or most of the major car seat brands. They're like $30. And so we haven't bought one yet, but we're probably gonna end up getting the one because our car seat is Graco. And so there's just little adapters that you put on the side here. And then you can take this Mockingbird seat off and just put the gray coat, car seat, or whatever you have just directly on there. So that is another option as well if the child's sleeping or really small or anything like that. And the last con that I could think of is that Mockingbird is not sold in stores. So a lot of people go to Bye Bye Baby or Target or Walmart 
to look at it and get a feel for it and test it out. And you can't do that with Mockingbird. They're only on their website, but they do have a 30 day return policy. So you could order it, wait the five to six weeks for it to be delivered and then test it out at home for 30 days and see if you like it or not. That is what we did and we both love it, my husband and I both are really happy with it but it is really nice to be able to go into store into the store before you buy something and test it out so hopefully like i said i think this brand just came out in like 2018 so hopefully they'll start incorporating them into more stores but for now they're kind of like an online only so that's going to be it for this video if you have any questions that i did not address feel free to leave them in the comments but thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you later